oh my gosh, it is Wednesday. And somehow, even though I have the entire day set aside, so I wouldn't have to do anything, it's just been so busy. So many calls and so many interruptions and a lot of stuff. I'm getting some work done, but it drives me crazy. So our big news today, and this is pretty surprising. One, my shoulder's still fine. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I can tell it's back in place, though. Like, it's pretty cool. Anyway, so we got news today that we got to run to Managua tomorrow to pick up our sedulas because we already got our residency. That's just six days, not six working days, six total days, only four working days since we did our uh, residency interview here uh, and they inspected the businesses and all that stuff. Uh, normally, people say it takes two or three weeks and they've been pretty busy, so we thought it would take even longer, but everything is already processed. They called today. Who knows if we missed the first calls? Maybe they tried to get a hold of us earlier. Sometimes that happens. We're not very good because we don't expect phone calls here, right? It really throws us off. They called today and said we got to come in tomorrow to pick up our sedulas. That's our national ID card. So it's a little bit like a, it's not a driver's license, but it's kind of like in the U.S. when if you get a state-issued ID card and it's not a driver's license, but it looks like one, this is like that. It's your ID and your national identification number. So it replaces your social security ID. It gives you something instead of that, uh, but it gives you an identifier, unlike a social security card. So it's a little bit like a state-issued ID plus social security merged into one. It's a small country, so they just have one card for everything. They don't have individual state things, but that really is weird in the U.S. anyway. Why do they do that? No one knows. Uh, so we just have to go pick that up tomorrow. Now, uh, we're not, I guess, official until that's done, but a number and everything has been issued for everyone in the family, so all four of us have to run out there tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is the Vigilia for 4519, which is the big party, and so uh, we had thought we were going to do that in Leon. Now we have no idea what's going on. I was supposed to do my live stream tomorrow, in the, uh, which by the time you guys see this will be like right when I'm supposed to be doing the live stream and uh, every everything and this is what drives me crazy about our life here between my work and the way that things work in Nicaragua if I plan things everyone complains that I don't plan enough and every single time that I plan anything so many things change that I don't have the closest hint of being able to make any of the plans that I make actually happen. So every plan ends up being canceled. Every plan. I can't remember the last time we made a plan and it didn't get altered. It's completely worthless. The interruptions never stop. I run out. Last night I had to run to Super Express. What happened? There was no one could get in the gate and like I had to run back because something was happening at the house. Nothing important. Just there's an interruption every single time I try to do something and I'm needed. And because my office is in the front of the house, every time someone is just dropping off a bill, picking up a piece of paper, needs to say something, it's screaming in my window and knocking on my door, and I and my dogs are freaking out, and I have to react because there's no way to hand it off because people know that I'm in this room, so everybody just makes noise there, and so all you have to do is hide somewhere else in the house, and I have to deal with it because they're screaming in my windows. So my interruptions never end all day. I feel like I just, that's one thing that's driving me crazy. I feel like I cannot escape the endless interruptions, and and, and sudden new things that have to be done. Like, why did our schedule have to be a, oh, you have eight hours of notice, you have to come tomorrow. Like, why isn't it, uh, come get it on Monday, come get it on Tuesday when you can schedule it. No, it's a drop everything, come and get it on a day where there's special events happening that the same people who are giving me a schedule would like me to go film. Like, coordinate something for once. It's, it's outrageous how hard it is to make anything happen just because there's all in what, what happens if I'm like in the bathroom, like the world just falls apart. I have no idea. And of course I've got to do phone calls and stuff with work that drives me nuts. And, and I'm so limited on light that, you know, I get a certain number of hours in the day and there's so much noise that goes on. So people are using outdoor spaces at different times that I always spend my whole day trying to move around these particular times of day that I have access to things. And that's the exact time when people are most likely to want to interrupt me. And so that, that is pushing me so much. I'm pissed off because this all just happened as I was trying to get my last filming done for the day. And of course, I can't get the filming done because it takes so much coordination to look at my videos and say, what do I need to do? And just, ah. But we're really excited that our sedulas are uh, able to be picked up. Like, that's a big deal. Normally, people wait a really long time. And it's been over three years since we got here full time and nine years since we first got here. So this has been a long time in process making this happen. So we are very excited that it's happening. We're going to have them. It's not really super ultra meaningful for us because we already live here and there's no particular thing we're going to go do because of this that like happens just like not like you know tomorrow we get to fly airplanes around or anything like that like there's no big change uh you know we don't have to do a border run we were gonna have to do a renewal in a few weeks so it's nice that we don't have to do that 
it's not things we really notice all that much. So it's cool to have it. It's nice to be able to say, and it's a good feeling to know that it's done. And it, there's been a few things we've been waiting on that for. So once we have that, it'll make it a little bit easier to schedule a few things. And we're trying to get like uh, trips to the United States scheduled because we got to go up and renew our driver's licenses and uh, do some shopping. And today's Prime Day or today's the last day of Prime Day as I'm recording this. So I got some stuff with that I got to do. Uh, but very little, right? There's very little on the sale. It's not worth very much. It's not like the Steam summer sale where all the good stuff is on sale. But so that's what my day has been just in the office doing a ton of work at some videos uploaded, but I feel like I'm just waiting and being interrupted. That is that is what my day feels like. So I'm getting a little bit frustrated on that. But Overall, things are good. Uh, Dominica's feeling a little bit better from her cold. I'm all better and my shoulder's all better. Like that's just all, maybe I had like long COVID and it affected my shoulder. I don't know, um, but I haven't had COVID for quite some time, but that the shoulder thing's been quite some time. So who knows? Anyway, I'll see you all you guys tomorrow.